Hey everyone, welcome to your 30 day adventure. So glad you're here. And my name is Macy. Most of us know each other, but I know there's some new people in the group. So thanks for joining us in this 30 day adventure. I've been doing these 30 day creations for the last two years now and I just love what it creates for, for me and for the people who come together to um, be a part of it. So if you have not been in one of these adventures, I wanted to share a little bit about this one specifically, but also about what you can expect. <sighs> so we will be here in this group every day live at 9 a.m. Mountain Time. And I am going to be bringing you specific tools and practices and teachings on this topic of moving from protection to connection. Yay, hi, Emily. So if you um, have noticed that relationship stuff can be challenging. Um, this is this is where you want to start is working with your nervous system so that you can cultivate this safety and security within you. So as we go through, I'll continue to share with you more of the science of it. But basically, this is a you know, nurturing of the nervous system and being able to identify those cues within your own body that will begin to kind of translate for you. Oh, wow. I am getting out of my kind of comfort zone, my zone of safety, peace, calm, joy and sort of activated. So when you start noticing these things that activate your body in a way that, you know, triggers the stress response, then some of the, a lot of these tools that we're going to be playing with are going to be the thing that you pull out of your toolkit and use to nurture and shift the direction of your emotional being so that you're moving towards uh, regulating your system back to like that ease and comfort space. And that's when we feel safe. That's when we feel confident. That's when we're happy <laughs> and feeling like, you know, we can be in the world. So interesting if you look at animals and a lot of you know a lot of these things, but let this be a reminder or a refresher um, on this stuff for you to, you know, enter into this 30 days. But animals, they know they know what to do. I mean, they get frightened by a predator, they run, their their bodies like running and you know, mobilized, and yet what do they do after that? They shake their body. They shake off that, um, that stress um, state and then come back to that place of like homeostasis where the body is um, back to kind of normal. And... Um, that's what we're looking for. I mean, really what a lot of people experience in relationship is that they're experiencing triggers that are not even real or true or necessary, um, but they're coming from a deeper place that maybe holds a memory of something that's attached to a belief that was established early on in life and there's nothing wrong with that. It's not a problem or bad. It's just that 
ultimately what ends up occurring is that you use that same sort of emotional template in your romantic relationships. And typically that doesn't serve us. So we get to become more aware of this and, and play in different ways so that we can actually connect with people. Because um, one of the things that really inspired me about, you know, really learning all of this and, you know, how it plays into the relationship space is that there really is kind of an on off button here. So when you're in that space where you can be relaxed and connected and feel confident and, and su supportive to you, then that's when you can lean in and connect. When your body goes into these other states of like, I need to run or I'm totally shut down, then you're not really in a, you're not in a place where you can connect. And that happens so much in dating. That happens, certainly I see a lot of people uh, online dating having these moments of shutdown and these, these like, freak outs and like, I can't do it. And, and, and that's normal because, you know, when you're putting yourself in that environment, if you haven't addressed those kind of core wounds or, or established and developed that secure kind of relationship within your being, then, um, then, you know, putting yourself out in this environment where it's a completely different kind of connection where you can't make eye contact, you're writing, you're, you're kind of in this technical world that it can be really scary for your system. So it's kind of learning some new skills to be able to navigate that space if you want to use that really kind of powerful tool to meet other singles. But it does require having some skills there um, so that you're not just shutting down. And then ultimately you can get to a place where you are see, getting to meet people in person and connecting, even seeing people's eyes on a Zoom call is really helpful. And seeing a smile or seeing how they're interested or leaning in can be really nurturing to our system. So I'm really thrilled to be able to work with all of this stuff. So if you're here, um, just know that we have, you know, 14, 15 hours ahead of us to play. And the other thing I wanna say is when I just said 14 or 15 hours, I already felt a lot of people going, ah, what if I miss something? I can't do all that, that's too much. Do not worry about that, I know that I've created this 30 day experience in a way that makes it consumable in whatever form you take. And please trust yourself and know that if you miss a day and um, it's no big deal, you always have the option to go back if you'd like, and that's up to you. So if you sense that, oh wow, it would feel really good to go back and I would really love to commit to every single day in this series, then you get to have that. But I know for a lot of people that can be a, a high bar for whatever else is happening in your world. And I know for me personally, I've uh, enrolled myself in a lot of different 30 day experiences and um, noticed that most of them I don't end up watching every single day, but I get so much out of what I have received. So please be gentle. This is all about how you're present with yourself and connecting with yourself. So that's your first, your first step. All you have to do is go, okay, I'm gonna give myself this experience. I'm going to show up um, as best I can and if, if I don't, I'm not gonna beat myself up. And if I don't, and I'm feeling that pull, if you're feeling that pull to go back, you get to. So 
you'll be able to access all of the different days right here in this group. And I will be organizing them in somewhere, maybe up here, maybe down there. I don't know where it's showing up on your screen. There's a thing called guides. And if you go into the guides, not right now because we haven't recorded anything yet, then that's where you'll be able to see day one, day two, day three, day four. And I will be titling them in a way that, you know, sort of captures what it was so that you can use your own spidey senses to go, hmm, that's really, that's, that's calling me. And then you can choose to watch that one or go back and watch some multiple times. Some people like to do that. So the other thing I'd like to invite you to share with me is what would you love? Like, what are those things that are coming up for you around this theme of going from that protective mode to connection? Going from maybe sensing there, there are walls up or barriers and, you know, stepping into a place of being able to have that healthy, happy relationship. And you get to ask for that right now. So if you're still listening to this, I know it's kind of long now. Um, yeah, what are you asking for? Just really give yourself that moment to go, yes, I would love to have a relationship where I feel connected and adored and safe and secure and I'm asking for that. I am asking for my body and my being to up level, to do whatever it takes to be in a space that can have that. Because once you are in a space like that, the cool part is you'll notice that um, when you're in that confidence, that safety and security within you, then you trust life. You know that, you know, whatever it is that is in your heart, that desire is your destiny. And things that occur, you start being able to see more clearly how, you know, it's not all about you. Like, it's just not personal. Like, if someone disappears or, you know, seems interesting and then kind of falls off that it's it's about them and that you know your person is going to be available for you but it takes you being available for you first and certainly signing up for this class is a huge step um, and the other thing is if any of you are inspired to do deeper work and you're not already part of my super love community message me about that because i know that this topic is probably one of the more advanced topics that I've brought to a 30-day experience. I mean, this is uh, sort of a mastery level topic, and I know that it will likely bring up some things, and you may notice um, some things come up, and I you know, really love doing the one-on-one -on -one work on this that can really get to your personal space, the issues, challenges, memories that may arise so that you can, you know, you're not gonna change the facts from the past, but you can change how your body responds to it and how you relate to it. And you can change the emotional memory attached to it. So, um, so many people come to me because they've had some trauma, some difficult relationships that have sort of left a mark and make it hard to trust. And I promise that, you know, there's such a enormous space of possibility and freedom that comes from being able to work with these things and transform them for good. So yay, Emily says, I'm asking if I can meet someone even if my life is busy and as a single mom. Yeah, solo mom, I love that. Um, yes, that's a great ask, absolutely. And um, 
I, I am excited for, for what the universe wants to show you around that. Like what ease can show up, what supports can show up that you haven't even thought of before or met before and how does it get any better? So, you know, what if there really are no problems or issues or limitations that we can like really um, open up to receive so much greater as a part of this. Yay, thanks for being here. And I can't wait to see you. So we start on Wednesday in here, 9 a.m. Mountain Time. I love it when you show up live, by the way. So if you show up live, that just makes me so happy <laughs> because it does charge the energy somehow. And I wonder if you feel the same too, the difference between the live. But the recordings are still really powerful. I have people coming back to recordings I did over a year ago. I feel like a different person than I was then because I am. And um, so either way and... Uh, if that's possible, I, I recommend it. So, yay, all good. I'm so glad. Emily, I'm so excited for you to be part of this. This is going to be great. All right, everyone, we'll see you really soon. Bye.